Hello friends, today we will create a simple Hello World web project using Spring Boot. For this, we will be using the ID Spring Tool Suite. So, first let's go to Google and download it. We have these two options STS3, STS4. So, we can go for the latest one that is STS4. And here we have different platforms. For Windows, we can download the last one. In my computer, I have already installed STS. So let's move directly to STS and start working. File, New, Spring Starter Project. Click on this. So see, it is getting connected to this start.spring.io. And here, the name of the project, maybe like uh, let's have uh, Hello World. Hello world. Here, this is the group ID we have to provide. Com dot spring we can take. Artifact is the same project name. Let's give this one also small case. Hello world. And now package also. Com dot spring. Okay, this group ID and the package ID is almost the same. And artifact ID is like the project name. So now let's do next. And here. You have to select the starter module that you want to use in your project. We'll be using the web module. So web and we can select Spring Web. Next and this. Okay. So our project got created in the left hand side. Hello world. See boot is written here. It's a Spring Boot project. Now let's click on this. So, we are going to create a JSP page first. So, let's go to the SRC main. Here, SRC main. Here, we have to create a folder called web app. So, new folder called web app. Inside this folder, let's create another folder called web inf web minus inf again let's create one more folder called jsp jsp finish and here we will create a new jsp page okay we don't see an option jsp others let's do jsp so jsp file next and we can say like home dot jsp finish so we have the home dot jsp let's write something here welcome to home page so we want that this page should appear or the content of this page should appear when somebody types like http colon double slash local host colon 8080 slash home if somebody types this on the browser URL, we want the content of this page should appear. So, okay, sorry, we cannot put a comment like that. So, let's put like a JSP style comment percentage minus minus. This is JSP style comment. Let's put this here, okay, okay, fine. So, we want to access like http localhost 8080 slash home from the browser and the content of this home.jsp should appear but in spring related web projects everything should pass through a controller so in this project we have to create a controller so let's move to the source folder here we can create a new controller called the home controller new class called home controller and finish to tell spring that this class is a controller class you have to do what at the rate of c o n t r o l l control space so we have to put this annotation at the rate of controller annotation so this is a guide to spring framework that this is our controller class okay so now inside a controller class we need to have a function basically 
so let's have a function here called um, so home page so the function name might be anything so home page is the function name we have to have a return type in the function so we'll keep like string so public string string so now this is going to return back a string this function is going to return back a string so when this function is going to get executed this is a controller class inside this we have this function and when this function is going to get executed we have to also specify that through an annotation at the rate of request mapping control space so request mapping double quotes slash home for example a user says slash home on the browser url then this function is going to get executed okay now for this jsp page uh, to get executed or this jsp content to appear we are going to do like this http localhost colon 8080 slash home okay and this slash home we are mentioning here in this function above this function in an annotation at the rate of request mapping so what we have discussed so far we have created a jsp page inside the jsp folder here called home.jsp it's doing nothing but it's displaying welcome to home page and to access this page or uh, to see the output of this page on the url we are going to put this localhost 8080 slash home and this controller home controller this method so home page is going to get executed if somebody does slash home okay so basically this function is going to get executed now it's going to return back a string so it's the logical view name basically so we'll do like return double quotes home double quotes home semicolon mark it we are not saying return sorry r e t u r and return return home we are not specifying like home dot jsp here or any extension we are like saying only home and we have to guide also spring that home means this home dot jsp so how do we guide spring that it has to go to this jsp page or home represents home dot jsp okay we have a properties file here in the resources called application dot properties let's go here to the application dot properties file and we will guide spring about the logical view name home means home dot jsp how do we do that spring dot mvc mvc dot view dot prefix it's automatically coming here prefix equals slash web minus inf slash jsp we had created a folder called jsp within the web inf so this prefix means what like if your logical view name is home the slash web minus inf slash jsp slash will be prepended to home so it will be like slash web inf slash jsp slash home and again just like prefix we have suffix as well so spring dot mvc dot view dot suffix equals jsp so this means what like if the logical view name is home dot jsp will be appended to it dot jsp we have to write dot jsp not simply jsp dot jsp it will be like slash web minus inf slash jsp slash home dot jsp in this controller method it's returning home and home it will be like slash web inf slash jsp slash home dot jsp so it will find this home dot jsp in this manner okay now we should be able to run our project this is a web project and we don't have a tomcat market we don't have a tomcat and it's also not necessary why because when we create spring boot web projects like tomcat is embedded within the project itself the server is embedded within the project itself i can show you here in maven dependency you see tomcat embedded core right so this is automatically available here in your project and what is the benefit of embedded tomcat like 
this project when you want to deploy somewhere you don't need to install tomcat and other things like there you can directly take this project and run it because it has an embedded tomcat so we don't need to basically install tomcat and configure things we can directly run this project okay let's try to run it right click here and then run as spring boot app okay it says tomcat started on port 8080 and so our application is deployed we may try to run our project so http colon double slash local host colon 8080 slash home why slash home because that is the url pattern we have specified on the request mapping annotation so hit the enter yes we saw this page now white label error page let's see whether our project is running or not we can go to the home controller and here let's do a sysout controller invoked let's try to run the project again to run the project again let's click on this relaunch so that the server will again restart now let's try again and see what happens we are getting the same thing again so now what is the problem like oh we got this controller invoked see that means the control is coming into the controller because the system route has invoked so some other problem we have what is the problem like our spring boot is not able to compile the JSP page so for this reason we need to have like another dependency added up here in form.xml that is Jasper so let's go to Google and download the or get the maven dependency MVN repo from the MVN repo so here we want to get like Jasper Jasper dependency so Tomcat Jasper let's take this one and but we have a lot of versions over here which version to take we can go and check which version embedded tomcat we are having in our project so for this year we go to dependencies and tomcat embedded 9.0.27 so we should try to find out 9.0.27 here 9.0.27 9.0.27 we have it so let's click on this and copy this and we can go to our STS to the form.xml and we'll add this dependency after this save everything and now we'll try to redeploy again okay so we have added the Jasper Tomcat Jasper dependency and the jar file has also come up inside the project so now let's try to run it again so we may relaunch it and let's try to refresh this yes so our project has run now so welcome to home page this is the content of the JSP page so let's try to go through it again so we have created a project hello world and here we have the controller class with this method called so home page and an annotation at the end of request mapping slash home means on the browser will do slash home this function will get executed and that is returning a logical view name that is home so in the application dot properties here we have specified the prefix is slash web nf slash jsp and the suffix is dot jsp means if we are returning home is the logical view name so it will try to find slash web slash jsp slash home dot jsp so the content of this home dot jsp will get displayed so we have tried to run it and we have got the sensor so this is coming from the home dot jsp hope 
you like the video thanks we will meet again with the next topic soon